The central government has formed high-level committee under Defence Secretary to look into overall capability development of the Indian Air Force through indigenous design development and acquisition projects. India is all set to sign a $700 million export deal with Vietnam for the sale of BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles in next few months. The BrahMos NG missile will enter flight trials by the end of 2025. A prominent defense analyst has expressed skepticism regarding the export potential of the Tejas Mark 1A, saying that the light aircraft category is a shrinking market, and that many foreign air forces are favoring medium-class fighters. India and Kuwait have elevated their ties to a strategic partnership, and the two sides also signed a key pact for defense cooperation. RRP Innovations has secured a 102 crore rupees order from the Ministry of Defence for the supply of advanced long-range thermal imaging cameras. A retired Pakistan Navy Commodore has claimed that Pakistan could achieve nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine capabilities as early as 2028. Indian Navy's INS-2 SEAL frigate has arrived in London, marking its first port of call on its inaugural operational deployment. India and Vietnam are inching closer to seal a significant $700 million deal involving the acquisition of the BrahMos missile system for both the Vietnamese Army and Navy, and both nations are currently working diligently to finalize procedural and technical details. The Vietnamese Defense Ministry has already reviewed and discussed the initial techno-commercial details shared by BrahMos Aerospace, and the draft agreement which includes specifics such as the total deal value delivery timelines and payment terms is awaited by Vietnam to move forward with the formal signing in the next few months. The DRDO is planning to test an export variant of the Praly tactical ballistic missile with a capped range of 290 km. This range modification aligns with export regulations to ensure compliance with the missile technology control regime for non-member countries such as Armenia. In addition to range modifications, the DRDO is also preparing to test a twin launcher configuration for the Praley missile system, that will allow a single launcher to carry and deploy two Praley missiles. In a major development, the gas turbine research establishment has announced that the Cavalry engine has been cleared for in-flight testing, that marks a pivotal moment in the long journey of the project. The next phase involves mounting the cavalry engine on a flying test bed for real-world performance evaluation, that includes testing the engine's response to various flight conditions, its integration with aircraft systems, and its overall reliability in dynamic environments. Dassault Aviation and Indian Air Force have started work on integrating the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air missiles on 36 Rafale fighter jets and reports indicate that captive flight trials will start as early as mid-2025, to test the missile's compatibility with the aircraft's hardpoints aerodynamics and initial system interactions. Dassault Aviation is also developing a software patch to ensure seamless communication between the Astra Mark 1 and the Rafale's radar and other onboard systems. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.